have you been told in the hospital that you have blood tubes and you're wondering what to do if there's any cure for you if there's any medication to help you with these blood tubes this video is for you we're going to be talking about what causes blood tubes what are the types of blood tubes and how can we treat these blood tubes and what are your chances of getting pregnant after the treatment this is Talk Pregnancy with Dr. Noella, where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women-related health issues. What is the fallopian tube? The fallopian tube is that tiny tube that connects the womb to the ovaries. Now, when the egg is being released from the ovaries, it passes through this tiny tube called the fallopian tube into the womb if it is blocked it means that the sperm and the eggs are not going to meet what are the most common causes of blocked fallopian tube first cause of a blocked fallopian tube sexually transmitted infections that's chlamydia gonorrhea they have a high affinity for the tubes once you are infected with chlamydia gonorrhea it's like there's one place that they are looking for is for the tubes and once they go there what do they do it's just like you having a wound or an infection it causes a scar there it causes a wound and when the wound heals what happens a scar is formed tissues are formed with tubes are blocked with this scar which have been formed so you see that once you have this infection it can even be a present infection at that time or even a long-standing infection and it was not treated then it stayed there and it caused the blockage of this tube and you do not know maybe it was now when you're trying to get pregnant and you're not able to get pregnant that is when they start checking and seeing that your tubes were blocked now there are other causes of blocked tubes like endometriosis endometriosis means that there are places in the womb where menstruation occurs which it does not have to occur there fibroids it can, can be at the level of the tubes and it blocks the tubes, it blocks that egg from reaching the sperm. So in this case, you have seen that it is actually blocked. If you've had an ectopic pregnancy before and they go and maybe they don't remove the tube, they just went and remove the ectopic at that time. So you might have had a surgery at that point and it can form a scar too and block that fallopian tube. So what are the various types of blocked fallopian tube? We have the distal blockage, the mid-segment blockage, and the proximal blockage. So most of the times for the distal blockage, it means that it blocks at the end towards the ovaries. Once it's blocked there, it's mostly due to hydrosalpins, and hydrosalpins are mostly from infections, from sexually transmitted infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea. It can cause like a collection of fluid at that level, so causing the blockage of the tube. Then mid-segment is when we have, for example, like bilateral tubal ligation. That's in women, for example, who have crossed 35 years old and they have had their number of pregnancies and they don't want to get pregnant again. That's what we call the permanent sterilization method for women. But at times you can see a woman who has had these blocked tubes and still wants to get pregnant and or get pregnant even after a blocked tube. Now, the proximal blockage is usually due to infections such as infections after a miscarriage, after an abortion. You know, when you, call, when you have an abortion, it can lead to infections, that septic abortion, where maybe it's not treated properly or the procedure is not well done, it becomes infected. The bacteria from your vagina can migrate into the womb and go and block the tube just at the beginning of the tube. So infections from, a, infections from a miscarriage, infections from an abortion, even infections from a cesarean section, it, those are where blockage can occur. And also still from a secondly transmitted infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea. How can you diagnose block tubes? There are various methods in which a block tubes can be diagnosed using a special x-ray called hysterosalpingography, that's HSG where a, a dial is sent in through the vagina into the woman's womb and through the fallopian tube. So as the dye is going through, they are taking series of x-rays. And once they see that the dye actually passes through 
the tubes there means that the tubes are patterned but if it doesn't pass it actually tells you where the blockage is found and if it is partial or it is complete blockage there are other methods like an ultrasound scan tool can be used they might they might see an a fibroid which is so large and around the tubes blocking the tubes endometriosis you can see swellings of the womb which has actually extended to the level of the tubes and causing blockage of these tubes now other things we have what we call exploratory laparoscopy surgery or hysteroscopy so these are just when you just get in they use a small camera and it's inserted into the abdomen and the view maybe they see that okay these tubes are actually bent and they try to release it and also hysteroscopy they send the, the camera from the vagina into the womb and maybe using some fluid to actually open the womb so with all these these are some kind of techniques in which you can diagnose the blockage so once you have this blockage what can be done how can it be treated and if you want to have a private consultation or private chat with me click on the link below and give me a call either a video or an audio call and you will get to me god bless you